all right fam so welcome back to the channel all right uh <laughs> i got a crazy video for y'all i got a crazy video for y'all once again y'all know i stay coming with the crazy content i appreciate y'all love and support lately oh uh, but however before we get to the video i need y'all do me a big big favor go to fanscustoms.com if you are into basketball jerseys baseball jerseys soccer jerseys whatever type of jerseys whatever type of jackets whatever type of uh long sleeve shirts you know what i'm saying whatever y'all into i need y'all do me a favor go to fanscustoms.com use the code dtv all right dtv for 10 percent off your orders all in link description box below without further ado man hit the like button subscribe let's get it let's go straight down or are you gonna yeah. go left or right at all or just uh, straight? straight to the place where nobody is okay i want to have my own seclusion yep i'm not trying to even talk to these people so but the news crews there that are gonna paint now, actually let me give y'all a little bit of context of what's going on here because i just jumped right into the video i gotta give y'all a little bit of context okay so basically i've seen this little clip on tiktok right and this guy was doing something good. He was doing something good for the community. What he was doing was baptizing people. If you, I, I look, a lot of people are not believers in Jesus Christ. A lot of people believe in Jesus Christ. A lot of people just believe in God, but don't believe in Jesus Christ. A lot of people got different beliefs, but however, it's only one truth. And the truth that I stand with is believing in Jesus Christ, the son of God. That's the truth I stand with. So what he was doing was baptizing people in the name of Jesus to get them saved. You know what I'm saying? So he was baptizing people in the river, in the lake, whatever, and he was doing it at a, uh, I guess, an LGBTQ pride parade or something. And, bro, they went off. Like, you would have thought this man would have, you would have thought he put a gun to their heads. Because the way they was acting, I was I was in shock. But without further ado, man, no talking. Let's go. This negative picture. How are you doing, news? What news are you with? Good. Global news. How are you? Oh, fake news. Why are you here tonight? Fake news. Now, you want to know I'm here today to baptize people that accept my message. Not here to talk to the gay community, and not here to target the gay community. I'm not even here to talk to them. That's why I'm here. I hope you hear that, because you guys keep persistently making libel against me, false statements against me, which that's what fake news does. Can I ask you something? A lot of people are upset that you're here. Why? Can I ask you something? Do you belong to this community? Are you a member of the LGBT? I can't answer that because I think you have a, a narrative that you're trying to paint about me that's biased. All of this is on live stream, so I hope you put on the truth because even if you don't, we have the truth. Hey, do you want to call me white again? No, you are white. Yeah, you're, you're but white. I'm fucking and, I, and I'm black, and, you, and, you, and you're racist against me. How am I racist against you for you? Because you came that I'm here. White. You came here pointing at me, saying I'm not welcome, and and, and, and putting putting that. some I hateful said, stuff towards me. But you haven't. But you haven't hurt me. Has an impact on everybody but you else haven't hurt. Here. I asked you, have you hurt has any? Has an impact on everybody else here. You haven't heard anything Just I said. Why is she yelling? Why is she yelling? Somebody explain to me. Why is she yelling? Seriously, I want to know why she's yelling. Because it, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. I mean, the man is trying to baptize people doing something good for the kingdom of God. He's trying to baptize people. He went to the other side of the beach so he could be away from you guys that's on this side of the beach. Y'all brought y'all little booties on this side of the beach because y'all want to bash him because of what he's doing for the community. I, And then you're sitting here yelling. You're going to have a civilized conversation like this. Without yelling, like you, oh man. It's cops, you exactly, heard? because your fucking shit is bullshit. Yeah, you know why your shit means something to you. My S H I T. No, I'm sorry. Assume my fucking religion again. I'm just white. I am fucking native. Okay, so what? But your skin is white. I'm black. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, what? so, so you're, what? you're the like, one assuming, you're assuming race then. No, you're she's racist She didn't bring up um, anything to do with race other than you bringing it up. Why are you now? against me if you haven't heard me? Because you're allowed yeah. to do, you're allowed free speech too, right? right. So, so that's yeah. just the way it is. Right. So, I look, you respect the cops, you know, because the whole, the cops in this entire situa situation, they was very respectful. You are, you have your rights of speech too, not just them. Because if I want to do anything, baptize, whatever, if I want to do anything, if I'm going to go out there and preach whatever I want to preach, I am I have the right to do that because I also have my freedom of speech too. Simple as that. Simple as that. 
I just feel like literally, and I'm not going to say the entire gay community, because there's a lot of people in the LGBT community who are very respectful, who are nice, and who accepts opinions of others. They even, it's some of them that's open-minded. I'm not going to lie, it's a lot of LGBT people that's in that community, whatever, that's in the community of LGBT that's very open-minded and that's willing to listen to what you have to say, or they're willing to accept your opinion and go about their business. These people in this video could not accept this man's opinion for nothing. He said that he don't really support them. They get mad. You're homophobic. The whole racist thing, I don't know about that. I feel like that's a little reach. I don't think she said anything that was them racist. Maybe I missed something. I don't know. From what I was hearing through these big old jumbo light headphones, I don't think she said anything about being black and I hate your skin. I don't think she said anything like that, but I feel like that was a little reach. But anyways, let's finish. So we'll make sure that you've got your box. Right. You can, yeah, so Wonderful. And so, yeah, so it just makes it hard when you start moving a lot. I don't want to move like okay, that, actually. Okay, I just don't want people blowing trumpets right in my ear we like that. that. We don't want that either. Hey, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Wow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm a black man. How am I supporting white supremacy? I'm a black man. How can I support white supremacy? That didn't even make logical sense. No white supremacy? Hey, brother, I'm, I'm here and I'm not white and I'm black. I don't know how I'm support. That didn't make no logical sense. I swear, bro. <laughs> the things that come out these people's mouth, I just, bro, I really have to question their their level of education where 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 did they leave off at was it kindergarten was it when they first graduated like what did they truly leave off at like i'm really because you know when you sign up for sign up for a job they they ask you those type of questions like do you have you know high school diploma or ged some of these people don't got their ged because the things that come out their mouth be stupid all right okay we have some of our guys waiting down by the water apparently so we'll meet up with them because nobody cares about them. All they care about is you and who's yeah. here. Well, we're going to be baptizing some of them, actually. Yes. Yeah. So once we get down there, you'll... Okay, that's a salt. Just got assaulted. Assault number one. Yeah, he's with me. Oh, he's with me. He's with me. You're with us. Come, come, come. She's with me. She's with me. She's with them. She's with us. I'm with him. I'm with this man. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. David, we love you. We support you. We're Thank praying you. for you. Thank you. We're doing everything we can. Amen. Amen. And Jesus Christ loves you. We're with you, man. We're with you. We're with you all the way. Thank you for coming to Vancouver. This is probably going to be the best spot because yeah. there's no cars here, right? Yeah. This is, bro, this is sad. This is truly sad, bro. All this, all because the man is preaching the word of God. And you telling me that some of y'all don't believe in Jesus Christ. Some of y'all don't even believe in Christianity. Some of y'all probably clicked off this video only because y'all seen who I was reacting to. Some of y'all probably clicked off this video. Some of y'all probably didn't make it this far in the video because I'm reacting to a video of a Christian preaching the word of God. It's sad to me because ask yourself why is Christianity the one religion that is bashed the most. You can't sit here and tell me that Jesus Christ is not real. You can't sit here and tell me that. You can't sit here and tell me that, oh, Christianity is not the truth. It's not the way. It's not the light. It's not the truth. You can't sit here and tell me that. It's the number one most religion that is bashed the most. Muslims don't get bashed like this. Any other religion you could think of don't get bashed like this. But for some odd reason, this has to be the most bashed religion out of all of them. Why? You ask yourself that. I kid you not, this is un this is unacceptable. All because this man is preaching the word of God. I don't understand it. I truly don't understand it. What happened to freedom of speech? What happened to us actually speaking our mind and doing what we choose to do? What happened to that? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He just, he just assaulted me. He just assaulted me. He just assaulted me. There we go. Finally, the police are arresting people. I don't know what he just spit on me, but this man, this man assaulted me and spit on me. 
Those guys. Assault. That's assault number two. From this so-called loving community, we see hate. And then we have the newscast who doesn't want to get any of that on the news. You're perverted. You're perverted. And you're an assaulting person. Look, look at me on camera. Look at them. Look at them. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. You hate me. Say, get that. Get it. God hates me. God hates me. Okay. I thought you I thought you believe in love. I thought you believe in love for everyone. But you don't. Thank you. He hates me. You hear that? Say it, say it again. 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 You hate me. Okay. Witchcraft workers, sensual, lustful spirits, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you, assaulting spirits. But you refuse. You refuse. That is so sad, bro. This pe these people are filled with nothing but hatred and anger. Seriously. Hatred and anger. How can you how can you seriously be filled with so much anger in you? I, like y'all supposed to claim love and positivity and and y'all post y'all want people to accept y'all for who y'all are and things like that. This man is not even preaching against any of y'all. He just doing the work of the kingdom. What we all supposed to be doing, but apparently not everybody truly believes. This is you refuse. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to watch this entire video. I'm pretty sure this video are already like 20 minutes long. But, however, the reason why I reacted to this is to show y'all the simple fact of, okay, this is, I'm not saying this is how everybody in the LGBT community acts. But this is majority of the LGBT community. This is how they act when you preach the good news. This is how a lot of people react when you preach the good news of Jesus Christ. This is sad. This is truly sad. But this is the world that we live in. The Bible tells us that. Uh, if they hate you, just know they hated me first. That's what Jesus Christ tells us. If they hate you, just know they hated me first. That's exactly what he tells us. So it shows how many people hate Christianity. It shows how many people hate Jesus Christ. It shows how many people hate God. It shows how many people are so blind from the truth. My people will perish for the lack of knowledge. But I love you guys, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. I know for a fact that a lot of y'all not even gonna watch it to this point. You know what I'm saying? I already know. Because I got a lot of people that's atheists. I got a lot of people that's this. I got a lot of people that, that, that. But this channel doesn't mean anything if it doesn't have the word of God in it. You feel me? It doesn't mean nothing. I'm gonna keep doing what God has called me to do. Simple as that. But I love y'all, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe to the post notifications. Be your boy, Depan. Each and every one of y'all. What did I just say? It's been your boy, Depan. Each and every one of y'all. I meant to say I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.